Here, let us perform an activity to test the resistivity of water in Kalabandha and balsam plants. Click each tab to know more. Take a Kalabandha or aloe vera and a balsam plant. Now, place them in two separate pots. Pour two tablespoons of water in each plant pot. After pouring water, leave them aside for a week without pouring water. Next, observe the condition of the plants after a week. After a week, a slight growth is observed in the Kalabandha plant and no growth is observed in the balsam plant. Instead, it dries off. From this experiment, we learn that some plants dry up very quickly without water, while some other plants can grow even with very little amount of water. Plants adopt or act according to the situation in their surroundings on the basis of the need of water. Kalabandha plant can live even without water because in Kalabandha, the leaves reduce to spines such that there is little transpiration loss and water is stored in the tissues of stem. This helps the plant to live even without water, water scarcity area as we come across in deserts. Nowadays, we find Kalabandha even in our surroundings, but they are generally called desert plants or xerophytes. Now, let us learn about some xerophytes or desert plants.